It's a very unfortunate side effect of chemical peel, skin burn. A chemical skin peel is controlled acid on the skin to slough off the upper layer. We have superficial peels, mid peels, deep peels. For Asian skin, only the superficial peels are safe. Even with these superficial peels, if you put too much, you do it too often, you don't neutralize it fast enough, or you don't neutralize it properly, you get a burn. Now, the skin reacts to burns. Any trauma to the skin sometimes produce too much pigmentation, and we call it post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And some of them stay a long time, and some, the body removes it. Depends on how much, how deep, and how good the body is at removing the brow marks. In this patient's case, she had a chemical burn, which we can treat in three ways. Creams, tablets, lasers. Now, the creams and tablets work by reducing the body's ability to produce melanin. But remember, there's too much melanin there already. So the body is removing it slowly. By decreasing the body's ability to produce new melanin, they're just trying to speed up this process. So it takes many, many months to see the effect. But if there's too much or too deep or too big, these creams are not going to work then you've got no choice but to use the lasers to break it up. So two problems here. One, are you impatient? Do you want it out fast because the creams take a while? Or if the creams don't work, you know, you've been on it for six months, a year, and you're not seeing results, maybe you may want to use a laser just to break this pigmentation into smaller pieces for it to be removed. But if you do it again and you get another burn, then we are back to square one. There are other ways we can treat pimples. Taking a risk of another burn may not be such a good idea 